Good afternoon, folks. Tropical storm force wind whipping in the background. I'm sure you'll hear it at some point in this video. We've got some good news, some things to watch, an update on the solar flare impact from the weekend, and a bit on the magnetic pole shift impact on the Earth. We are starting with a flaring uptick from the last three days. A flurry of solar flares, including X-class events, peaking early this morning with an X4. Earlier today, our update included the concerning lack of data from SOHO, and as it turns out, these ding-dongs actually don't have anyone manning the station over the weekends. It's preposterous. This morning, the data began backfilling, however, and it shows a couple potential glancing blow CMEs. Luckily, nothing I would consider serious. Worst case scenario is mild to moderate geomagnetic storm conditions persist over the next three to four days. Eyes are on the sun for more eruptions. But folks, we have already taken impacts in a way. We've had two papers this year already adding to the mountain of studies in the past years on the solar flare magnetic crochet effect. Yes, most geomagnetic disturbances come from solar wind enhancements via CMEs and coronal holes, but strong flares can do it all on their own via the ionospheric excitement of the global electric circuit. That is almost certainly what happened in Scotland over the weekend. They are no stranger to power disruptions during storms, but it was fair weather all around. These magnetic crochet effects are indeed becoming more frequent as Earth's magnetic field weakens and the sun gets an easier shot at our world. Speaking of which, the ongoing geomagnetic excursion and increasing vulnerability of our planet in the magnetic pole shift has offered us some incredible electrical sights before and it just did so again. Holy Earth Discharge. This recent event from Guatemala shows a fantastic electric discharge from the ground. It is not wholly contained within the volcanic ash cloud, which is still small at the time of the video. It was indeed the Earth capacitor discharging excess energy. Channel veterans have seen it before and know to expect more and more of this. Earth is indeed a capacitor when it comes to space energy, and with Earth's weakening magnetic field, the excess solar and cosmic ray energy influx to Earth has been on the rise. Some of this is directly absorbed into atmospheric processes, but much goes into the ground under fair weather high pressure, and when the opportunity to discharge comes, it comes hard. Volcanic lightning isn't new. But over the last five years, it has reached spectacular new heights, figuratively and literally. And as the planet becomes more vulnerable to geomagnetic disturbances and auroral outbreaks, the lightning, including the upward Earth discharge lightning, becomes more prevalent and powerful as well. This will only continue as the magnetic poles keep shifting and the magnetic field of Earth keeps weakening. We are in the downward spiral even as most of our species is distracted by other things. Subscribe and I will see you in the morning for the daily update. Be safe everyone.